Hey y'all, today we're doing a reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And it's just going to be a quick spread between you and the person that's on your mind. We're going to start out with the overall energy and then get four cards for you and four for them. And then we're going to close it off with some advice regarding the connection. So what is the overall energy for Taurus and the person on their mind? The Seven of Cups. So, let's see what else we got going down first. This can speak to, like, confusion between you and them, like not knowing what each other wants, or y'all could each view each other as one of the many options on the table, okay? So, I'm reading this side is you, this side is them, but you can swap it because it's a general read, all right? But the judgment's in reverse underneath the bottom. So this connection right now is in kind of like limbo. There's no final decision made. So I feel like for some people, this seven of cups is like confusion about what the other person wants. And then for some people, it could just be that you're not taking this very seriously. And they're like one of the many options that's available to you right now. The person that I'm reading as you has the Page of Wands, the Magician reversed, the Two of Swords reversed, and the Fool reversed. So, like I said, not taking it very serious right now because the Page of Wands is here. Even could be in the energy of not wanting to give this a shot too much because the Fool is in the reverse. Kind of holding yourself back from taking any kind of steps towards this person long term. And the Two of Swords is in the reverse. So you've already made a decision in the past to do that. It's kind of like you Taurus is a fixed sign. So once you make that decision and you stand firm in it. But the only thing that concerns me a little bit is if this is your energy, the magician's in the reverse. So this person may not be really aware that you've already made your final decision. This person may think that you still are open to this possibly being something else. Because the person on the right side of this spread is really emotionally invested, okay? They have the Seven of Swords reversed. That's not wanting to play any kind of games. The Ace of Cups, that's that's love the seven of pentacles in reverse they're not worried about trying to go manifest somewhere else with anyone else because they're not worried about trying to plant seeds anywhere to see if it'll grow because they've already found this connection and then to top it off they have the queen of cups so like i said the person on the left is um already made a decision that they're not going to take this connection very seriously at all they're not going to take any big leaps of faith towards this. The only problem with that energy, that's fine to have that energy, but the only problem is that they probably are manipulating the other person in the way of not really telling that person they've already made their decision. They've already drew their line in the sand because this person on this side has pretty much decided they want to give this a long-term shot because they have the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups upright. So you take whatever side is you, but that's pretty much the energy dynamic between the two people that came out. So let's get some advice, just some advice cards regarding this connection for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. I've already shuffled the cards. I don't even know why I did that. Okay. So we're going to get some advice cards. All right. I think I pulled five earlier. So I feel like the advice is telling you that if you're the person that uh, came to the reading that's not taking this very seriously, I feel like you need to communicate and pretty much let this person know how you feel and let this person know. The moon is in the reverse with the page of swords. So you need to give this person some kind of communication to let them know what's going on because it may be burdening them. this person because that ten of wands showed up too. But I feel like, honestly, it's telling you that this could be a good connection. So whoever I'm talking to that, that needs this advice is the person that's not taking this connection very seriously. That's already decided to look at this as one of the options. Really not wanting to take it anywhere serious. So that's who the advice is for. You shouldn't walk away from this at this time because this person has a lot of love on that was on the right side. And I feel like you shouldn't worry about your ships coming in in any kind of way because this is a very good opportunity in this connection if you are actually willing to give it a chance 
But I feel like, honestly, whichever side you fall on, basically just be open and honest in your communication and let, let the cards all out on the table, so to speak. Let the person know how you're feeling, what you're thinking, because they have the right to do that. Whether you're the one who's loving the other person or whether you're the one who isn't taking it very seriously. All right, Taurus, that's been your quick energy check-in, and thank you so much for watching.